Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing most important questions in the area of chemistry. Uh, you can expect these kind of questions in the competitive examination. First of all, I request you to note down the right answer. Okay. For later on, you can do the self-evaluation. Whether your answer is uh, correct or not, you can do the self-evaluation. So I request you to go through individual questions. Time being, I'm scrolling down. Okay. So you can pause the video and you can able to note down the right answer. Don't take more than uh, four minutes because there are eight questions. Okay. You can answer it very fastly. All are related to uh, basic science, even the uh, 10th standard level questions only. It is not too complicated one. Those who completed the SSC, uh, that uh, particular level, definitely they can appear these questions. I think let us continue the discussion. Question number one, please read the question number one. Dash is known as white vitriol. We have studied about the blue vitriol in the previous session. So what is white vitriol? Which is the right answer? Among this option, uh, zinc sulfate is the correct answer. The right answer for the question is zinc sulfate. I should go for option A, zinc sulfate. Don't get confused about the zinc sulfide and sulfate. Both are different. So go ahead with the uh, zinc sulfate. Let me discuss second question. Chemical name of soda ash. Which one is known as soda ash? Just think and tell me. Soda ash is also known as sodium carbonate. Where is the sodium carbonate? Option B is the right answer. Sodium carbonate. Don't get confused about the sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. The right answer is sodium carbonate only. Question number three. What is the chemical name of red lead? Uh, zinc sulfate, uh, triplumbic, calcium oxide and of this. The right answer is of course triplumbic. Please note on this answer. Let me know your answer is correct or not. In case any clarification, please put up in the comment box. Surely I will reply back. Next set of three questions. Question number four. Dash is known as cuc line, which is the right answer. What is the cuc line? So normally calcium oxide is known as cuc line. Very important. Every time we can expect these kind of questions. Totally confusing actually. Even though we know the answer, we may commit the mistake. Cuc line means calcium oxide. Okay. Now question number five. Chemical name of Plaster of Paris. You are still familiar about the plaster of Paris in case any uh, sprain or something is happening in our leg or uh, hand. We will be putting the medical uh, authorities, there will be medical doctors using the plaster, plaster of Paris. You know the importance. Okay. So plaster of Paris, what is the chemical name of plaster of Paris? So the right answer is option C, calcium sulfate, hemihydrate. Right answer is option C. Question number six, dash is known as lime water, which could be the right answer, lime water. So please find out the correct answer from the given options. Lime water, uh, calcium hydroxide, calcium oxide, calcium sulfate, iron sulfate, which is the right answer, lime water. Lime water is obviously calcium hydroxide. Okay, I can go for option A. Okay, still if you are having any issues regarding the answer, please put up in the comment box. Question number seven and eight. Dash is known as laughing gas. So zinc sulfate, lead sulfate, nitrous oxide. I can go for option C. Nitrous oxide is the right answer. It is known as laughing gas. It's the right answer. Laughing gas. Question number eight. Chemical name of gypsum, which is the right answer. That means sodium sulfate, calcium sulfate hydrate or iron sulfate, zinc sulfate, calcium sulfate, which is the right answer. So obviously the right answer for the particular gypsum. Sodium sulfate. It is a type of salt. Sodium sulfate, calcium sulfate, high. Uh, dihydrate. Gypsum is also known as uh, global salt. Global salt. Okay. That also you have to remember. So these are the most important eight questions. I hope you have scored very good marks among this. Do the self-evaluation. Let me know in case any clarification. Okay. Finally, uh, let me, before concluding, in the remaining part will be continued in the next session. And also the previous video will be putting up in the description box and the i button. You can click on that i button and you can access the previous video. Okay. So let us continue the same discussion and uh, we will see on come the next session. Finally, thank you very much for watching this video.